This video is about the drilling frame. A lot of what I will talk about in these videos is on the Ornamental Turning Book of Knowledge website and a link to that site is in the comments below. For this video I will be demonstrating the, video, the drilling frame using a plain 4 rosette. As with a cutting frame, a drilling frame is used to make cuts in either the side or the end of an object. So this is my drilling frame and it was built according to the instructions on Bill Ohm's website. I put a link to his website in the comments below also. This drilling frame is made using a boring bar tool holder, this piece here. And just like with a cutting frame, the tool holder is held in a quick change tool post. The tool post of course is held in a cross slide and I've rotated it 90 degrees for this part of the video. It's not normally used in this direction but it's easier to see in this way. The drilling frame that I use holds the drilling cutter in an ER16 collet, which you can see at the end here. The drilling frame is basically like a router in that it spins the cutter but much slower. And like a router's bit, the shape of the bit can be very different depending on what you want to do as an artist. This cutter is carving bit for a Dremel style device, but some ornamental turners do use small milling bits. And Chris Plouffe makes a number of very fine cutters and I put a link to his website in the comments. This drilling frame can be driven by a motor attached directly to it. It would be in the back here, but I prefer to use an overhead drive. So give me a few minutes to hook everything up and we'll see the drilling frame in action. We're ready to go now and we'll cut on the end first. This is a piece of ash, not necessarily the best for ornamental turning objects, but excellent for prototyping like we're doing today. It's not really bright white, but instead black because I painted it that way to better show the design for this demo. This is something I learned from John McGill. So let's see what we get. So as you can see, that's a really nice design. It works well like on the inside of boxes or inside of lids for boxes. So I think this uh, nicely shows how the end grain works. So let me set everything up to cut into the side of a piece of wood. This is where we will use indexing. I won't go into indexing in this video. If you want to know more about it, please watch video number four in this series. I've locked the headstock into place and retracted the touch away from the rosette. This keeps the headstock from rocking. This is a piece of walnut, not the best for such ornamental turning objects, but excellent for prototyping like we're doing today. Cutting into the side like this works well for pierced boxes like cricket cages. We'll make a few simple passes to give you an idea. There's no need to engage the lathe spindle drive for this cutting operation, but I will turn on the overhead drive.
could see the cutting that was made into the side and as I move the cutter on the cross slide it cuts a slot into the side. I went ahead and just started the second cut but didn't finish it. So that's a quick overview on the drilling frame. If you're interested in more on this topic, check out the web pages in the links below. Thanks for watching and I hope this was useful for you.